We're back here with Brief Encounters. Like every Monday and Friday, Leah Ballas here to introduce us to the people who make up this complicated region. Beyond all those divisions we just heard about, the conflict, the politics, and this time, Leah, it's all in our own backyard here in Jaffa. That's right, Nureet. So you're about to see one of my favorite stories with a character that is very special and dear to me. Her name is Veronica Fahil. She is a 13-year-old girl that I met right here in Jaffa, actually while I was taking a lunch break. She was at her uncle's restaurant and we started talking and I was stunned by this girl. She speaks English, Arabic and Hebrew. She's very wise, very eloquent. And I was just intrigued to know more, so I learned that she attends a very unique school here in Jaffa called the Tabitha School. Now, the Tabitha School is a multicultural, multi-ethnic school with students from all walks of life and all kinds of religious backgrounds, though it is predominantly a Christian school. And what's so amazing about it is that it is really a model for coexistence. And I went there and it was an extremely warm environment. The students get along really well. And let's take a look and find out more about this school. Thank you so much for agreeing to take us on a walk and talk tour of your beautiful school, Tabitha. How old are you, Veronica? I'm 13 years old. I'm from Jaffa, Israel. Okay. I, like, my family lived here for like eight generations. I come from the Christian Orthodox community right here in Jaffa. And what languages do you speak? I speak Arabic, Hebrew, and English. Jaffa is a very multicultural city, is that right? Yeah. You have people from all different backgrounds, Muslim, Jewish, and Christian. How does it feel to grow up in a place like this? Here, everyone doesn't treat each other because of their religion or their culture. They just treat them because they know that they're people, and after all, people have feelings. So they treat them the way they want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Tabitha is a very, very special school. It is an international school which admits people from different cultures and different uh, religions. This wall is the peace wall. It shows peace all over the world. For example, it shows like peace in English, peace in like Hebrew. We welcome everyone. And we don't just welcome certain kind of religion. We welcome all of them. Even if uh, they're Hindu or Sikh, it doesn't matter, we welcome them. We don't have bullying at the school. We don't have arguments. We have disagreements, but they're not based on ethnicity. They're not based on religion. The school teaches you to respect the person and to value the individual and to respect the individual. Every effort is made to leave the politics at the door and just to embrace the individual. Coming from a country like Israel, which as yeah. we all know is not always the most peaceful region, how does it feel to be in a school with all these different people from different religions and backgrounds and upbringings? Actually, you feel very happy and you feel like this warm feeling inside. You know why? Because we're all like family here. There's no one fighting about anyone's religion or culture or where they come from or how they look like. We all love each other for who we are. And when you come from such a, a powerful environment like this, do you feel like there's anything you can teach the outside world that you're part of? I still have a lot to learn about the other people in the world. But sometimes I just feel like I can just say, learn to like, to be peaceful with other people. Because other people are like you, just, they look different. Doesn't matter like how they look like, we're still the same. What an inspiring story. You're right. This girl is so eloquent. And it's not something you hear often from a 13-year-old to say, I have a lot to learn still. Exactly. You know what? I was actually 
talking about her to some friends and I showed them a little video clip of her and they said this girl seems like she's in her 20s and she really throughout the whole day that I spent with her she seemed like someone who had experience and wisdom as if she was in her 20s and I, I think the school has a lot to do with that I mean you're living amongst people from all different ethnicities coming from all different walks of life and of course it also comes from the home she she right. comes from a great family who I also had the chance to meet a great story and exactly what I24 News is all about and what we're doing here. And of course, it's in our backyard, so that works out well. Leah Barras, thanks very much for this. We'll see you back here on Friday with another story, story part of the diversity of this region, the people that make it up. That's